So Pepsi wakes the heifers up for some Muay Thai, and you know Porsche ain't participating, but I don't know, you the fightingest heifer on here. You could probably teach the instructor something. Heather's still upset at Whitney, but I don't know why you'd care about her pea brain thoughts anymore. A little girl will say anything. Shout out to Mary and her step-grand-husband. Oh, jeez, we already opening with Leah having the runs, and her Aunt Flo is in town. How long you gonna be on this period? Ain't it day five? You have been bleeding since you been here. So Pepsi gonna take him to the old town to do some shopping. Oh Lord, culture in these heifers, it's gonna be ignorance. So now that Whitney's got Heather all upset and defensive, she wants to be on her, not today Satan, I wanna build new relationships and have fun. Go have fun with your ugly husband now that he broke. Oh, God, Giselle, you whine about this dang bottle. You done drank it up. So Giselle goes to Portia and lets her know she's looking for her bottle. So they trying to figure out who it is. She know it ain't Portia because Portia on that hen. Alexa only drinks her champagne. Oh, God, Leah upset that Portia posted a picture and didn't tag her and Candace. Creates drama. Only if you mention it. Y'all know you wasn't up because there's coochie that day, so why you mad? So Leah run and tell Candace and Heather, and Heather says, it's pure shade. Okay, stand under the tree in the shade and the cool breeze. So we all got dressed, and we headed to the old village. Oh, God, Leah, you should have stayed your runny ass at home. Are we going to eat inside? No, you're out in the village shopping and walking. You are so Ramona. They are all getting obnoxious on this shopping trip, and Leah can't feel her legs. Oh, Lord, she done passed out. Oh, get her on the bus. Miss Scarlet, Miss Scarlet, I'm not wearing underwear. Leah, everybody done seen your puss. Your private part is very public. Public. You calling for Pepsi like fucking Ramona? Oh, my God. Oh my God, this awful white woman! Oh Jesus, I'd have left her ass. Ain't nothing wrong with this bitch. And I thought Vicky Gunvalson was bad in the Berkshires. Leah, you're a pain in the ass. Oh, we're stopping by and getting some herbal refreshments. I wonder what their stuff tastes like. So now that the group's back together at lunch, Giselle is upset, and she wants to discuss, where's my bottle? <laughs> Heather said, girl, you can get that anywhere. Why are you fussing and fighting? So that we don't mention she's manless. So we don't jaw on Jamal. So Heather's suspect number one, because Giselle don't believe her about the face punch. Heather's like, hey, I'm getting some free tension. That's all she ever wanted. Marisol's number two. But Marisol's like, I like the little ones, not the big ugly one. That looks like a pepper shaker. Portia said, damn, you can't wash your ass without thinking about this. Nope, because she ain't got nothing else to think about. Candace is number three, but Candace is like, heifer, this ain't Clue. However, Candace is like, Giselle tried to get me to steal a bottle in Mexico, so I ain't take nothing to her as y'all. Giselle wants her bottle. She wants her bottle. Give me my bottle. We'll give you the bottle when Jamal gives you some attention. Girl, these short commercial breaks be killing me. I'm like, let me breathe. So now Giselle wants a room search. Lee is back at the house resting. But Candace brings up that Portia posted a picture and didn't tag her and Leah. Why, Candace? Why do you care? Candace was right. First thing Portia said is, I don't have to explain my Instagram to you. And she don't. Candace said, this is a form of cyberbullying. Candace, you are a cyberbully, so shut up with your bully shit. Are you hurt? Are you hurt? Yes, Candace is hurt. She wanted to be friends with the big girls, but Jizzy put the block on it. Are you taunting me? Are you bullying me? Candace, you're reaching, but your arms are too short. <laughs> then Candace starts doing this. <laughs> Marisol said, now she's just. Now she's just being weird. <laughs> she is the weird kid. Alexia's like, wait, hold on. Yesterday you told us to shut the fuck up, but now Portia can't not post you? 
Oh, God, then Candace going to say, you never let anybody talk, Alexia? You, Candace, who ain't shut up this whole trip. Candace and Giselle ain't never shut up. We barely hear from Alexia. Marisol, all you hear is the sip of her drink. And Portia says, Candace, while I have you on the line, why every time do I talk to you do you have to scream? Because she's mad at you for being friends with Giselle. That's why that scream is really at Giselle's neck. So they still going on and Portia says, well, I can understand Candace. You want the followers. And you do. You do. But everything Portia said, Candace knew. So I don't know why Candace bothered having the conversation. Oh, -ho! Portia said, did you eat today? You need Pedialyte, PJ. Portia had that read packed up before she left. Let me get some Pedialyte for PJ. Calling Candace your daughter is, um, shut her right up. Should have called her mom and threatened to pop her with a purse. Did Heather just say somebody thinks she's Nicole Brown Simpson? That's just too stupid to acknowledge. So we heading back to the house. Candace thinks the bottle is in Giselle's room, and I could believe it because she has nothing else to do but start shit. Sure ain't got no man to phone. Whitney, Heather is not two-faced. Some things are good kept behind the back. You don't need to articulate everything to everybody. If you ain't gonna do it, then don't talk about it. And that is exactly what Heather's doing. She's like, I ain't about it, so I'ma shut up. I like to slap her, but that's not who I wanna be on camera. Portia Candace does not want anything with you. You want it with her, cause you have anger issues that are well documented. But I could see Candace wanting her ass kicked by the housewife with the most physical altercations under her belt. So Marisol's doing the party tonight and she just wants to have fun. She's like, let's make some cockies and dance. Sounds like my Saturday. Candace checks on pain in the ass Leah. Meanwhile, Giselle trying to find out where's her bottle. But Candace gotta let her know. Portia got a problem with you. Giselle, did you plant this in Candace's suitcase? Cause you seem real sure it's in there. This episode wasn't half bad, wasn't half good, but wasn't half bad. So Candace is upset that the Instagram stuff will cause a shitstorm. Don't pay attention. Don't answer every comment you get. Candace is making stuff up, stirring the pot, and stealing things. Giselle, the only thing that was stolen was your husband. <laughs> Leah said, well, I know you came in to ask if I'm feeling okay. No, she didn't. Don't nobody care about you, Leah. So now Giselle just gets way too, I'm going to search Candace's room. I need to go in your room. Pick somebody to go with you. I'm demanding a search. Giselle, it's, it, it's time to stop acting like a true Karen. See, this is what Candace was talking about because this is some Ramona Singer shit. If Candace don't have it, she don't have it. Let production suss it out. Child, they got Pepsi in the confessional crying. All right, well, that was the shit, so I'm going to see you soon for something.